we are off to axe throwing with the family. Chris is driving, but he's we're at a stoplight right now. <laughs> um, I have my, I call this the booby shirt. Boobies, get it? Get it? Get it? Yeah. That's inappropriate. I know. <laughs> but this is from Unique Vintage. And then I have jeans on, and then I have these really cool. Nurse Martins. Well, he's making fun because they're Doc Mart and knockoffs from Target, but they're pretty awesome in my opinion. They look good. And yeah, so we're gonna do axe throwing for the first time. I don't think any of us have gone before, and then we're gonna go to lunch. And when I say we, it's Chris and I, my mom and dad, and my brother and his girlfriend. Closer, closer. That's not good. That's good. <laughs> Brian, move back. I want to see your bullseye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Good Sunday morning. I am watching Hallmark Christmas movies because they're back on TV and I'm in full swing. This is Dollywood from last year. It's not one of the new ones. And I'm making some banana bread because we had some really ripe bananas and I thought, why not? So I'm making banana bread and I'm also gonna be making a new brunch like um, casserole with eggs and bacon and sausage and tater tots. And that's why this is out. Um, I'm already starting with the bacon and then I've got laundry going too, so I'm a busy bee this morning. All right, you guys, the banana bread is out of the oven. It smells heavenly in here, oh my gosh. So I did put some chocolate chips and walnuts in the bread as well. So once, once we cut into that, I will show you in a little bit. So now I'm making or finishing up making the breakfast casserole. So I already pan fried some Italian sausage with no casing, a pound of that, sprinkled that all on the bottom of the pan. It's a greased pan. Then I sprinkled two cups of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, um, all on top of the sausage. Now I have a mixture right here of three large eggs, um, teaspoon of pepper and salt, um, an onion powder, and then two cups of milk. So I just whisk that all together, and now I'm gonna pour that all over the top of this cheese and sausage mixture. And then I'm going to bake that in the oven for 35 minutes. Um, and then once that has cooked for about 35 minutes, gonna take it out and sprinkle the remaining half a cup of cheese on the top and cook it for another about 10 minutes. So I'll show you that at the, at the very end. I'm gonna take these two pieces of bacon and, and sprinkle it on the top. So I'll show you the end result. Sorry, I totally forgot to tell you guys, you also need to do pretty much one of the most important parts of the casserole, layering the tater tots all on the top of the mixture that I just told you guys about. So it's not supposed to cover the tater tots because you want them to get nice and toasty and bronze on the top. So now I'm going to put this in the oven for 35 minutes. So casserole's out of the oven and I also sprinkled the bacon on the top and now I'm about to serve it. So we are on our way to go and celebrate Rick and um, my father-in-law's birthday and we've got 
Lucy in the back. We got cake and wine in the back and presents. And we're gonna have like a barbecue dinner kind of thing. Just, just the six of us, yeah, six of us. So yeah, I got my spider sweatshirt on today. Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Rick and Dad. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Don't blow on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rick made a good one, I can tell. If you guys ever see this in the background of my videos, like when I'm getting ready or anything, Gavin actually painted that. He just recently gave me this, and actually he gave one to Chris too, that I'll try and remember to show you. It's in his Chris's den. I think he did a really great job. He's really getting into doing more art like that. I still have the little pink pumpkins out. It stretches the whole, like it comes here, like it comes rushing this way and it just kind of flows down this way. From there across, that being a little break right here. So it flows here and it flows there. <laughs> oh, it flows all down here too usually? In the spring, we'll have to come back and show you guys. This is where Chris likes to camp. Okay, literally, how cozy am I right now? Like seriously, 100% cozy. <laughs> and very, very happy girl because it's really chilly outside. It's like 50 to 65, I think, as the highs, and then the lows get down to like 35 this week. So happy. <laughs> You guys, I just took the picture for, actually, I'm not gonna tell you which American Horror Stories season it was, um, because you'll see on, you'll see it on Instagram before this vlog anyways, but um, I bet you guys can guess. And it's actually one of my top three favorite seasons of American Horror Stories behind Murder House and Coven. This is like my third favorite show. But my favorite character is the nun that gets possessed by the devil. I don't like possessions at all. I don't watch them usually. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. I'm a good Catholic girl and I don't like, I don't like it. I really don't like it. So it was very scary for me. That show was very scary for me in that aspect because I just don't like that. And the girl that plays the nun is like one of my favorite um, actresses in the show. Um, I loved her character in Coven too. She was my favorite in Coven um, or one of my favorites. But Misty was her name on Coven. I can't remember the nun's name on this series. But anyways, she goes from being a really good, like very sweet nun that follows the rules and, you know, she's a virgin because she's a nun and blah, blah, blah. But then after being possessed, she gets a little naughty. She's a little naughty. Um, so I'm kind of like the in-between. The picture that I took is um, has like a little sexiness, but it's not over the top. And yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. But anyways, the earrings are from Amazon. Actually, I think everything's from Amazon. The costume's from Amazon. My wig is from Amazon. These fun earrings are from Amazon. I don't suggest the earrings though. I need to, I want to get earrings like this though that are like real gold. I'm going to see if Alex sells earrings like this from HRH Collection because she always has good quality. But these are really nice, but the clasp, like they look nice, but the clasp on them is not the greatest. It's very cheap. Um, so yeah, probably not going to keep them. The wig is really nice though and the costume. So I have a bra on underneath this. I wouldn't do that if I were to like wear this to a costume party or something, but I can Photoshop that out. Um, but it's just like pretty much just like a uh, one piece. The sheer sleeves. And then it comes with this cap too. This is not where this candle goes, but I just had to show you guys. I just lit it. And this is the coolest candle because you can, it's called an illuminary candle, I believe, from Bath and Body Works. But I just think it's so pretty, like the stars and like the silhouette of the witch. It's called Hot Cocoa and Scream, and it does smell like delicious hot cocoa. It smells amazing. So Mama V and my dad just dropped off these insane cookies, like they're the size of my palm. 
And I think this one's cookie dough. This one's like a mud cake, chocolate cake one. And I think this one is a cinnamon roll. But yeah, they look pretty sinful. So I was about to start my nighttime skincare routine and then I remembered a few of you have recently asked on Instagram as well as YouTube about my skincare routine and I kind of mentioned a couple of products in my recent Sephora VIB sale recommendations. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. Um, the sale's going on until the 9th of November. Um, but anyways, I just figured I would lay all the products out that I use and show you guys. Now this looks crazy because I rotate through products. So because I try so many things. Obviously you do not need all these products. Pick one out of each category and that would be, that would suffice. Um, so first off, I have the Dermalogical Pre-Cleanse. Really, really love this. It's an oil-based makeup remover and it really does take everything off, including eye makeup. So I really love that. And then I've been trying this out. Um, this is the um, Patrick Star line, the Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. And it's really fun and a little bit gimmicky because you just spray it all over your face and it's supposed to help melt off, melt off your makeup. And it does, but this is definitely a lot better. And then um, these two are cleansers and exfoliants I use. So you can definitely see I'm almost out of this. And this is a daily exfoliant cleanser from Kate Somerville. And it's part of their Exfolicate line. It's the Exfolicate Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash. A little goes a long way. I've had this for a while. Um, really, really good though for a daily kind of exfoliating cleanser. Now, sometimes I get lazy and I just do like the... I didn't grab that. Hold on one second. This, the Garnier like Micellar Water. Sometimes I get lazy. And I just use this, the makeup wipe and like... Eye makeup remover, and that's it. And then if I do a couple days of that, I need a better exfoliant than the daily. So this one is a rock star. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Peeling Gel Firm X Mask. This is no joke. Um, it's gentle enough though for someone that may might have some sensitivity to exfoliants, and you just massage the gel into your skin, and literally you can feel the skin coming off. It's so crazy. Um, if you don't believe me, go and get a sample at Sephora, try it, you will be hooked. And then these three serums I've been going in between. So like one day I'll use this, then that, then that kind of thing. So this is the Ulla Hendrickson Truth Serum. This is really great for brightening the skin, it has a lot of vitamin C and collagen booster. It smells so good, I love this. I've, I, this is like probably my fourth bottle that I've ever had. I'm testing this out. This is the um, Sunrise Botanical Reboot Serum with CBD. It's really nice, actually. So I've been enjoying trying that out. And then the, um, what is this? The Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. And then the two moisturizers I've been going in between is the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury. This stuff smells so good and it feels so hydrating on the skin. I love it. This one's like a little bit extra skincare boost. Um, this is for aging skin, but we kind of all have aging skin. So honestly, anyone can use this. Surface Cell Renewal Rosy Tone Vitality Moisturizer. Super emollient and I definitely see a difference in my skin when I use this and I've obviously used quite a bit. Um, the two eye creams I'm going in between is the Dermalogical Multivitamin Power Firm. I actually like this better in the morning. And then the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream from It Cosmetics. And then the lip products. Oh my gosh, I've had this forever and I still have some. The Laneige Lip Mask. Best lip mask out there. It smells so good. It hydrates your lips. Your lips feel super soft in the morning. I also really love this, the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. As you can see, I've used quite a bit. It's Saturday morning and I totally forgot to show you guys my beautiful flowers that Chris got me this week. And look how beautiful this rose is blooming. I love that when all the petals come out like that. It's so beautiful. And here's one last look at the Halloween decor because today is Halloween. So happy belated Halloween to anyone watching. But tomorrow I'm going to take all of the fall and Halloween down. And then it's time for Christmas in my house because I do a lot of Christmas posts on Instagram and everything to give inspiration. So I do mine a bit early. But I just thought I'd show you guys one more time.
So I wanted to share it with you guys, the other pieces that I got from Newly, which is a um, clothing, clothing rental subscription. So you get six different items and you can pick different sizes if you want or six different pieces, whatever. And it is a monthly thing, but you can skip if you don't want to do it that month. Um, so that's pretty cool. Also, I have a 20% off code for you down below. So I love this green dress. It's definitely more like of a bodycon super sexy and has like a silky fabric such a great quality and this one is for love and lemons is the brand i'm telling you they have some really awesome brands like free people and love shack, shack fancy and um anthropology some really nice brands this one i think is free people if i'm not mistaken um i loved the colors in this dress do you guys like it and it's really long though, so I would definitely have to wear it with something with like a little bit of a heel. But I think it's going to be perfect for work too, but then it'd be super cute for going out to dinner after work. And then this dress you will see in my Christmas photo shoot I'll be doing November 8th. Because you can have these pieces for as long as you want throughout the month. You just have to return them by um, your next like date. Um... But yeah, so that's what's really cool about it too because you have the whole month to wear your pieces. This brand is Harlan, I believe, is the name. But it has a really low cut front. But then everything else is very simplistic and it's a really nice heavy material. I can't wait to wear that. And then this cute sweater. Oh my gosh, look how freaking cute this is. I love it. I love the little um, rose buttons and everything. This is the same brand that made these a strawberry sweater that I showed you earlier in the week, um, which is Love Shack Fancy. But yeah, super, super cute. So I will end up showing you every time I wear one of those pieces so you guys can see them on me. But so far, so good. I loved that little strawberry sweater. What's really cool about it is you can purchase the items if you end up falling in love with them. So you don't have to return them after. If you just fall in love with it, just pay for it. Um, or you return all the items and get new ones. And I think that's really good idea if you go out a lot and you don't want to wear the same thing all the time or you don't want to be photographed in the same thing or you want to wear like new things to work all the time. It's a great way to do that. You guys, I totally forgot that I picked this up the other day and I think it was at Target. It might have been the Dollar Tree. I can't remember, I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure it was Target though. And it's a limited edition apple pie Kit Kat. And I was gonna wait till the Try It Tuesday, but I think these are limited edition for fall Halloween. So hopefully you'll still be able to get your hands on it. I'm gonna try a little piece right now and then I'll film Chris trying it too since he's home right now. Um, this is white chocolate, it looks like. Um, let's see, crisp wafer and apple pie flavored white cream. Hmm, all right. It smells very apple-y. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to try this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't love him. <laughs> and it's so weird the reason why. So a long time ago, this is when I was like in my late teens, I used to eat Slim Fast bars all the time and they had an apple pie one that tasted just like this. <laughs> so I'm like, why am I going to waste my calories and eat pretty much a Slim Fast bar taste? But it does taste like apple pie. I will say that. Um, it doesn't really taste like real chocolate. It tastes like that baking chocolate, that like melting chocolate around the outside. So I definitely like the milk chocolate better with Kit Kat, so not gonna waste my calories and eat any more of that. So I probably give that get two out of five, but we'll see what Chris says. <laughs> it's like, that's exactly how I was. I, it took me forever to really determine if I liked it or not. And then I realized it tastes like um, you probably won't know, but I used to eat Slim Fast when I was younger and it tastes like the apple pie Slim Fast. So it turned me off mm -hmm. of liking it. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like Slim Fast bar. 
Yeah. It's good. It's just weird. What would you give it out of five? A four. Really? That's actually pretty high. All right. You like them. That's awesome. So I'm just doing some laundry now and I'm going to start editing this vlog. But um, as for Halloween, I don't think Chris and I are going to end up doing anything today. We were going to go to my brother's. He's just having like a little small gathering with about 10 people. Um, and everyone's going to dress up. And like I have the costumes from doing the American Horror Story series I did on Instagram. If you didn't see it yet, make sure, go, make sure to go follow me on Instagram because I did a series of six days of different posts. Each post was inspired by one season, like a different season from American Horror Stories. So I have some of those costumes from that that I could wear, but I don't know, I must be getting old because I just want to like sit at home and like have really cozy autumn kind of food and like chili or something because it's, it's a little crisp outside so maybe make some chili and watch halloween movies all day like that sounds like a great day to me anybody else maybe a handful of candy <laughs> um so that's probably what we're gonna end up doing today and i think a lot of people are gonna be doing that because of covid and everything going on this year but I hope you guys still enjoy your Halloween and I will see you in the next vlog.